Hello everyone, welcome back. <laughs> no, we cannot absorb rock DNA. If none of you were asking that question, it's because I was. Of course, the bigger the jelly, the more health it can restore. The bigger rocks, though, well, our claws won't be enough to destroy the bigger rocks. Uh, can't go that way. Um, I'm just trying to think. This game wastes no time in letting you get lost. The levels are huge and often have multiple paths. It's this way. Oh, so there was there was a jelly hidden inside there. I should destroy rocks more often. Well, our objective is pointing that. Ah, this way. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, up there. Up there is where we want to go. Genos three and four. <laughs> they, they really try their best to catch up to you if they get lost. They really do. I like it. <laughs> okay, we're up here now. Now for a lot of jumping. I hope you packed your jumping DNA. Come on, guys. That's good. Yep, you can do it. Oh, incoming parasite. Ah, missed it. a chance. Oh, sorry, Gino 2. <laughs> oh, yes, I can't wait to get bigger claws. It's going to be very, very interesting. The, I don't believe the next level will have quite as much jumping in it. Let's ungroup our Genos. Oh. You okay there, Jelly? Of course it is. <laughs> Look at it, it's floating in the water. <sighs> well. Okay. Oh my, Gino 2 really is fast. We should develop that aspect. Okay then. This is good. Let's continue on. The final battle of this level. Excellent. We are done here. But should we mutate? Hmm. Well. Why not? Oh, we could get more jump and more speed, or more jump and more claw. Uh, I'm going for more jump and more claw. Yes. You can go for more speed. Seems to be your kind of thing. Oh, oh, look! He's growing spines now. No, Gino 2. Okay, Gino 3. Claws, definitely. Gino 4. Mm, yeah. Alright then. Brilliant. Mission complete. And we have 
some nice DNA. Ah, by the way, I forgot what happens when a Geno dies. I believe they respawn. I can't remember if there's some sort of penalty, though. Anyway, let's end the mission. Yep. Auto saved, nice. Objectives all completed. Ah, oh, only 68% of the aliens were killed. <laughs> uh, although 29% uh, of the indigenous were killed. But we've gotten jump, speed and, speed and claw. Okay, analysis of the genetic material collected indicates that the hostile non-indigenous creatures are incapable of reproduction. It would appear that these creatures have been created by some organism for its own protection. Scans have revealed that the seismic activity relates to the rapid appearance of a number of structures in interconnected by tentacle-like roots that may serve as conduits. Those tentacles are so annoying! This organism may have caused the destruction of Planet W-22, and it has now been carried here on the planetary debris. It is to be treated as a planetary parasite. No similar organisms have ever been encountered. Proceed with extreme caution. Deploy your team of Geno Hunters. Locate and destroy any non-indigenous structures in the vicinity. Additional data. The indigenous life, particularly the flora, appears to be reacting against the parasite. This may create a number of hazards that must be avoided. In addition, certain rare types of plant spore may combine and to create a binary explosive when placed in close proximity to one another. This could prove useful. Yes, it will. We will obtain those plant spores and, uh, well, combine them to create a binary explosive to destroy any parasite structures. Yes, that's right. We're fighting parasites with nature. <laughs> All right. Okay, type one explosive plant spore. One's blue, the other's green. I remember that much. They're a bit like footballs. I remember that as well. Hey, hey, hey! We've got to protect the indigenous life. Stop going for the indigenous life and attack me, will you? Well, we weren't completely successful, but at least we can put their DNA to good use. Isn't that right, people? Okay, well, we could either go that way or this way. <laughs> that way's laden with tricks and traps. Well, I think we'll go this way. It looks fun. Oh, it has DNA. Yes, these little things in the walls are going to shoot. Thankfully, they can only shoot in one direction. Don't home in on us or anything. Plants aren't that hostile. Okay, Geno Team. Where's Geno 2? Oh, it's just up there. Good. Okay, explosives next. Let's see if we can make th through this without getting hurt too much. Oh, those jellies are invulnerable. They're, they're almost like a Kirby. Oh, Gino 2, Gino 4. They're, um, <laughs> Gino 3, the heaviest one, made it through without getting hurt. They do actually try to avoid the explosions, which is nice. Parasites down there. Let's just go and help them. Come on. Okay. Everyone, attack those. I'm going after this one. Two. Oh, there's 
so many parasites. Uh, it's kind of crazy how they created, well, how all that core parasite made, made a whole army in just a few hours, if you see the intro. Doesn't really show much, but, uh, well, it shows parasites. spikes. Oh wait, no, your spikes have actually gone down now. Yep, it's all in the little details. You, you, well, you just want more speed, don't you? <laughs> I know what weapons I can give you, though. Oh, yes. More claw and more jump. Why not? So you've actually got... Well, you've got the best jump now. Geno 4, be happy. Okay, let's collect some health. Thank you. Ah, those jellies are so helpful. I guess rather than exploring the... Well... Oh! Ag! It's an oven. <laughs> Actually, you should get away from that. Yeah, yeah, that's right, get away from it. Because I remember that those ones always explode, and I... Wait, did we all collect that DNA? Okay, Gino team, let's go this way. Let's absorb more DNA before we decide to get ourselves a flamethrower. Gino team, I, I could use some help over here. Oh, oh, I see. That's very smart of you. You got them to burn the plant. Oh, watch out. Ow, that was my fault. I'm very sorry. But I think it's time to mutate again. You just get more claw. <laughs> you... Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's such a shame. You can't even get a full flamethrower yet. But yes, it goes in your throat. You... You breathe fire. Mm. Yeah, okay. You are heavy after all. That's good enough for now. Okay, so... Oh, whoops! I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, I accidentally cancelled the changes, even though I really didn't want to. Oh, well, we'll just carry on and keep on absorbing this fire. going to need to get fire. There. The, uh, I forgot to explain that blue bar is our mutation meter. I'm... Uh, I can't remember exactly uh, what it defines, but I just know that it fills up the more DNA you have, and it flashes when you have new DNA. 
So, yes, let us actually properly mutate this time. Ah, oh, we've got to... Okay, you just get more claw. You get that one. I see it's getting mixed up now. Hmm, well, someone's got to have the, uh... Flamethrower. Hmm. Yeah, all right then, you get the flamethrower as well. Gino. Well, that wasn't a complete disaster. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if we'll find one of those plant spores around here. Hard to say. Well. Hmm. I think we most likely will. Actually, before moving on that way, I would prefer that we go back and go the other way. Come on guys, just jump down. It's not that hard. Not that far, either. Yeah, brilliant. They are really good at following you. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this episode, everyone. Next time, we'll actually follow that road of tricks and traps. And we'll see if we can create a binary explosive. A binary natural explosive. Yes. <laughs> natural explosive. Interesting. See you then, everyone. This is going to be... Like I said, interesting. Can't really think of any other word for it. Thank you again for watching, everyone. See you then. Oh, oh. Watch this. Oh, sorry. Naha! Toast! <laughs>